Good. Oh, oh, my word! Baby. All in one! <laughs> hey! What do you think you can do and what um, you can Ashley, do? what do you think of that Pro V1 that you just hit? How did it feel off the club? Well, it's the best shot I've ever hit. <laughs> so, I guess it's the ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was adventure. Pro V1, my favourite ball. I am a little bit biased because it's always been my favourite ball. Um, so I'm expecting it to, to go well, so hence it's probably going to be in the beach on those rocks down there. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> with a 9-9. Yeah, with a 8 iron. Are you getting an 8 iron? It sounded great, eh? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. unlucky in the bunker. No, it must be Get there. Good. Oh! Ah, hey, hey. What do you what do you think of that ball? That thing just comes off the face so nice though. Honestly, you can feel it. it it's got that uh, the softer urethane cover, but underneath it, I don't know what it does, but it feels like it goes into the club face and rebounds. But what does it smell like? You know, these ones oh, like freshly opened football cards, the best. <laughs> Perfect. Hey! Oh, never mind, sorry. So what I can tell you about those balls is <laughs> when, when you shank it, it stays shanked. <laughs> when you shank it, you shank it proper. But uh, it smells great off the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got it out of the, the trees over there. Okay, B Dog has a lovely scenic bunker shot. Lovely. When he's in the bunker, he can't actually see the scene, but he's got to trust it and get it out. That's hard. Yep, it bounced right off the right off the bottom. And... If it's a hard bunker, do I play? Because I played a normal shot and it toothed it. Play what the normal, play the normal shot, but just um, a put it a little bit further board. back in your stance. A bit further back. A little bit. And dig those feet in. Ooh. Yeah, it just bounced right off the bottom, eh? It's just hitting and... Oh, get up just short, just short. We're, we'll get there, we'll get there. Good putt, sir. That's the problem right now. It looks straight. My mind's playing tricks on me. Say it's going to go left or right. Then now I'm thinking about speed. Now I'm thinking, what if I miss? So <laughs> that's the problem. But overall, I just have to put it there. So. Also, you have two cameras in your face. So oh, that is true. Two, two. That doesn't help. So, what are your what are your thoughts now about that uh, Pro V? I'm never gonna use any ball other than this. <laughs> this is the ball. It has to be number two. It has to be yellow. <laughs> this, is it. this is life for me. I've, I've are you gonna life. Are you gonna wash that hand after you've used it? Uh, well, let's see how the next hole goes because <laughs> I don't want to go around with a sweaty hand. I was a bit nervous, but the ball fooled me through. So. Well done, man. Because you're just about to get a, another ball to play with in another par three, and then you're going to have to compare the two. Okay, so what did you learn there? Um, I should have known from when I put my feet in 
and you do the, the little wiggle. Do the hokey pokey? Yeah, yeah, break it all down. I should have known then that the bunkers were still damp and it's going to come out a lot harder and I probably should have used my lob and that cost me Two three shots. shots. Three shots. Next ball on the on the lot is the V3 Urethane by TaylorMade. Someone told me they like the old rocket balls, but I think it's like a replacement for the Project A. So Ash is going to get number three. And uh, I've got the number zero. I've been playing them for the last day. And we're getting number two for V Dog. And let's see how these things go. Three layer ball with the urethane cover. You know me, I'm obsessed with urethane. Golf ball covers. And you get number one. Oh, urethane. Yeah. And we're going to compare this as a benchmark against the Pro V1. Yeah. We want enough to carry to the pin, so it's 143. I'm going with the nine. Probably going to stay a little bit short though. Uh, first time playing the hole, but from what I can see, simple, straight at the pin, a little draw finishes on the left side of the green, happy days, no bunkerinos. What does the ball smell like? These balls smell Come like... Come give it a uh, sniff. Uh, these ones... Mm, fire, firecrackers. Okay, left side of the green. Let's see what happens. Not too sure. many steroids for breakfast, so... Probably would have been a pitching wedge. I've got a tough up and down, short sided coming down the hill. Club selection is important. Doesn't matter how easy the hole is, if you hit the wrong club. What about the ball? How did it feel off the face? It was much firmer than the Pro V. Much firmer. Got a nice little runway leading me up to the hole. That's where I'm aiming. Danger on both sides. I don't want to go long, so if anything I want to land on the, on the fairway that's leading up to the hole. But I don't want to go long and I don't want to go either side, so... Hopefully, put it somewhere around there. Oh, beauty boy. Pretty good. Come on, hit her on the green. Great Whoa! shot. What did, the, what did it feel like off the face? Oh, beautiful. It does, like Matt, like last man said, it does feel a little bit harder off the face. It does have a different sound to it, but still great feeling. Fantastic. Let's see how it is on the easy placement today, so you know, thank God for that because this is one of those holes that I really hate, especially playing from the back tees. Um, we're going to try this tailor made ball. I'm going to see what the difference is between the tides of this, but after the previous par three, <laughs> I don't know if it can be better. So, yeah, <laughs> A birdie on the birdie previous hole. Boys. That's going to work great. Wow. I think it's going to be three feet again. My word. What a I think. I think. As long as I don't buy my own ball, it's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe it'll be better than the last par three when I shank that one. Yeah, no, it's definitely the ball when it comes to shanks. Yeah, totally. You know, I yeah. did give you a yellow one, so it may have been the shank color. Oh, what a smooth swing. swing. Great swing. Sit down. Okay, back with me there. That's great. Yeah, too much, uh, too many degrees of power. <laughs> too many degrees of power. I'll think I'll take it down to 6 iron next time. Because I don't know when I hit the sweet, then, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Because the sun's out, gun's out. <laughs> I didn't hit the green. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I, I hit it in the teeth. And it's on the green, that's all I needed. Oh. Oh. Sit down. Good luck, baby. Good luck. Oh. Yeah, it's must be straight into the ground. Uh, showing us exactly what to do on this uh, hole. He uh, he said that Matt needs to give him new balls every day. Yeah, but definitely the balls. <laughs> when I buy them my own, 
They go nowhere close, I guess. <laughs> the difference between like balls and new balls. <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> okay, what do we think of the, uh, the balls? Oh, great. Feels great. Um, I would easily play these. I'm a fan of Pro V's and I'll happily take these. What about you? Well, on the last one I said it's the best. It's got to be the ball because it's the best shot I've ever had. That was even better, so it's got to be the ball. <laughs> the thing, the thing that happened with Ashley's though is that it landed short yeah. of the green and bounced up. That's and that, this ball is a bit firmer, mine went a lot further, yours went a yeah. lot further. And when I landed it on the, on the fringe there, it didn't, it didn't land soft and rolled way past probably, what did I have, about 8 feet, 9 feet left. Mm. So Ashley's landed short and bounced up, yours didn't stop, yours rolled out far as well. That's true. Yeah. And yours also rolled out and my pitch rolled out. So, probably a bit firmer, mm. but the urethane cover feels nice, but off the putter, oh. a bit too clicky. I agree, off the putter yeah. it was way, I was just about to say it was way clickier. Also, damage done to the ball is already there. Well, Check if, you it hit out. It, if you hit it in a path. Into the path. If you hit it in a path, well, you're, already you're done. never getting new balls again. Thanks, man. <laughs> I feel so good now. I mean, I didn't, I didn't actually even think about the fact that it's yeah. Can I speak from a beginner's right. point of view? I don't think beginners should be thinking balls right now. I think they should just be thinking green. I, mean, I, I generally don't like to be thinking about balls all the time, but uh, when it comes to golf, you definitely want to play for your level. These will suit probably probably nine handicap and up, maybe five handicap and up. If you're looking for green side performance, probably a bit too firm. Agree? Yeah. Also, well, Ash, yeah. Ash is going to be thinking about these balls for a long time. Ash is going to have these balls in his mind a long time. Aye. <laughs>